real. Don't do anything bad, people. Very true. And speaking of drugs, people seen promoting images of drugs on their clothes can be fined and jailed in the UAE. So as trendy as you may believe it to be, or not, please do not opt for clothes, stickers, covers or accessories that promote drugs or psychotropic substances in the UAE, as it can land you with a hefty fine of 5,000 dirhams and a jail sentence of up to two years if the offender repeats the violation. So this is in accordance uh, to Article 55 of the new UAE drug law, which states, anyone who produces, imports, sells, possesses, or promotes products or publications displaying pictures, drawings, and texts that encourage committing crimes related to narcotics and psychotropic substances shall be fined a minimum of 50,000 dirhams. Meanwhile, anyone who wears or uses such clothes or any products or publication is subject to punishment. Now, Colonel Abdullah Al Kayad at Dubai Police said that the law has forbidden such behaviors with a direct article in the law. People should be aware of it. What is allowed in other countries is not necessarily right here. There are countries that allow consuming a specific amount of drugs, for example, but it is a crime in our country. So, again, uh, you know, not such a bad thing. I mean, you have to be aware of the UAE's laws and then its religion, its culture. So many things come into play over here. Absolutely. And it's disrespectful to go ahead and you know, like blatantly just break the laws when it's so specific that no, you can't. It goes against mm. our values. And again, I think that's the, the. I think that's the. You know, with people traveling and um, and I think again, it's really important to understand where you're traveling to, no matter where it is. You know, whether or not you're going to America, whether or not you're going to you know Thailand, Australia, America, uh, England. You know. Every, every country has its own uh, laws, every country has its own sensitivities and I think at the end of the day like we should respect anybody, anybody's values, anybody's culture, anybody's religion like and I think that is a prime example like people just need to be aware of what, what it is so that they can kind of come in and, and again make the most of your holiday, make the most of your trip and you know live a very carefree life because again you know a hundred percent. Why not? But people in the comments, I mean, as you can expect, have divided opinions. Social media does its thing. <laughs> They're just like, it's clothes. What if you have tattoos of it? Then what do you do? You know, like so many questions. But do a lot of people have tattoos it. of like You'd be surprised. Drugs? You'd be surprised. I mean, I doubt that they're going to be, you know, zooming into everybody. I think, yeah. obviously, again, beauty of Dubai, like, I think as long as you know and you're, you know, on the general whole being, you know, a decent person and not causing any problems, you know, people aren't going to actively seek you out. Yeah. Um, as with anything, but I think you, it's just very much making sure that... I guess, I mean, yeah, if you are notorious with what you're wearing and what you're promoting, and of course, like... I mean, if you're having, a, a, like, an emblazoned shirt with, like, drugs rock or, yeah. I don't know, like, let's something... Let's get medicated. No, none of that. I think that's where, you know, obviously people will draw the line. But again, like, even I would be like, all right, cool shirt. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to prove? <laughs> exactly. Uh, but I mean, it's like, you know, some, some comments had, uh, I mean, they made sense. They're just like, why do stores even sell it over here in the first place? Why do they have... I'm surprised that they actually do, to be fair. Yeah, why do they have the green signal to go ahead and sell it? And because they sell they it, we think it's won't. okay to buy it. I mean, they probably don't. I mean, again, like, yeah, that's not, where regulations course, kind of come yeah, in yeah. and all that sort of People stuff. People do but. get it from abroad, wear it over here. It's not like stores, like every single store sells it here. But they do get it in specific malls. Like, for example, in the comments, Dragon Mart was brought up a lot. Like, you get these kind of merchandise in these, you know, like Bob Marley merchandise. Yeah, but again, like... I, again, I think there'll be a line. I think if they're, you know, it's also not encouraging people to necessarily do it, mm -hmm. you know. They, I think people also just need to kind of use their own common sense, exactly. should I say, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't, and again, this is where, this is where the social, yourself, yeah. social comments blow up. You're like, yeah, okay. I think, you know, take some common sense, you know, it, it's been, when did the law kind of come in? Last year, 2021. Okay. So yeah, so exactly. So I think it's just, you know, making sure that, you know, one lives by these things. Exactly. Very true, Amy. Thanks.